Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and craft table. Welcome if you're new here. I am so glad that you guys chose to spend your time with me for a little while. So today I am basically just crafting a myriad of things that I have to get done for my sending my daughter off to camp this morning and some back to school things and then a couple things for my craft room. First thing um, I want to tell you is basically my supplies. I've got a bunch of adhesive vinyl. I do have a couple of iron on patches and these are new to me. I've never tried iron on patches so we're going to give that a try. Of course I have my um, scraper tool, transfer tape, scissors, rubbing alcohol. I do have my easy press mini and I've got my weeding tools here. So let's go ahead and get started with all of these crafts and just enjoy a morning together. I've got my large cup of coffee here and I am ready to get started. My first two crafts are actually already done. Um, I did them a little while ago um, because I was, you know, working on preparing the last stuff for my daughter for getting back to camp. But basically I wanted just to share something with you. This is... <laughs> This is literally just a Ziploc bag, and what I did is she's got to have um, any medication that they possibly need. Um, we have to send in a bag with their name, and so of course I'm just sending a couple of, you know, some pain reliever, allergy meds, and then some as-needed prescriptions. But basically I took printable vinyl, that's what this is, and I found a cute little uh, SVG image. I just searched up medications. I also did two rectangles in pink and I sliced out the one, I centered them, I did a line center, and then I sliced out the smaller one so that I could have this pink border here. And then I just did a text box with her name. So this is ready to go for camp today. And so I just wanted to show you an, a way that you could use printable vinyl or sticker paper or whatever to help get yourself organized or maybe get the kids organized but just a little way to i mean i don't know about you but crafting just makes me happy and my daughter makes me happy so better just to put the boat together so there's that the other thing i did is she brought out her water bottle from her room and it was covered with a ton of stickers. Well, I guess they have come off over time or she has taken them off over time. But um, I got some goo gone and I just cleaned the whole thing off. This is the one that I use in particular, especially in my craft space because it is specifically for glue and tape remover. Now, some of the sticker residue um, I did have to go over it a couple of times and then I washed the outside of this hydro, you know, uh, probably, well, in between applications because I worked in sections. And then I had a scrap vinyl piece and it literally was just this long, um, ironically, it was the exact length that I needed to go around this bottle. And so instead of putting a bunch of stickers all over the bottle that I could have made that I don't really have time to make this morning. I went ahead and just took some scrap vinyl that and I trimmed it down width wise because the length was perfect. I didn't have to do anything. I got really lucky. Um, so that is definitely a testament to scraps. Anyway, I thought this was a really nice um, compliment to her bottle and I wanted her to have something on her bottle before she goes to camp so that when they're all out lined up, you know, wherever they are in the woods that she can say, oh, well that one in particular is mine. So I can pretty much guarantee that no other camper will have this particular sticker on their bottle. Also I'm going to camp and just another great way to use up your scraps. As far as the Goo Gone, um, I did interrupt myself a little while ago. This stuff is great. It is, um, it takes off glue, tape, adhesive residue. I swear by this it, and it smells really good. It has a really light orange citrusy smell and I've used it quite a bit recently and so has my husband. I can tell that he's been getting into my craft supplies. So. Um, you can use it on hard surfaces, 
and you can use it on clothing and you can use it on carpet. So that's what I think is really interesting about this particular um, version of the Google. So in case you're looking for something, you can pick this up. I think I just got this like at Walmart or Target. I, I don't remember, but anyway, there's that. Just a little tip from me to you in case you need something of the same. So one of the first things that I want to do is I have this little box. Now this is actually one of those collapsible crates that you're seeing everybody pick up from Dollar Tree. And I love my little trays here that I make these little custom trays, but I did like this because one, it folds up flat and I can save space and I have an extremely tiny space. And two, um, I can use it because a lot of times I'll just put all my supplies for, you know, going into the projects. But then sometimes I'm gathering things together and I'm getting things ready um, and these trays aren't available. So this is just another option and I just got this at Dollar Tree. So what I thought I would do today is just put, and it's just such a nice little holder, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little um, uh, vinyl on there. Let's go ahead and get that weeded out. Okay, so this is a pretty simplistic design. In fact, this is actually um, one design and then I inserted a text box in the middle of it. So I basically duplicated the, the uh, image and then I contoured out the bottom part on one and the top part on the other so that I could have space in between and then oh, little letters getting stuck there and then I was able to insert the actual text that I wanted to put in here so let me get this pulled off and then I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about just another way to customize the SVGs that you find in Design Space. Let me make sure I didn't leave anything behind. Oh, I got three little dots. Basically, the word projects was not in here. What I did is uh, it said crafting in progress and it has this little loading um, image here that we all see when we're looking at tech stuff. So what I did is I duplicated it and then on one of them I contoured out the word crafting and that just left the bottom half that says in progress with the loading image. Then I took the other one and I contoured out the in progress and this loading bar and what that left me with was two separate images from the same SVG and then I grabbed a text box and I typed in the word projects. I found the font that I wanted to use that, that most closely matched the font here um, that you see in the image and I just put it in between those two, lined everything up so like I did a line left and I just made sure I liked the vertical spacing. And there we go. I took one SVG and I customized it for my needs. So if you're new to Cricut um, and Design Space, you can absolutely take images and you can customize them for your own needs using contouring, slicing, um, all that kind of thing down there in the bottom of the layers panel. And I do have some videos on those as well. Um, in fact, those will be coming out soon on the channel. Doing kind of a mini little design space series. 
not an official one, just like a little mini one. Okay, so I think that will probably barely get it. I'm trying to also use up all my scrap transfer tape. So the next thing I'm going to do is just grab some rubbing alcohol, spray that down. I got the width good, but I feel like my height is a little too big. Maybe I will not be able to use the word projects after all. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to take out the word projects. Maybe. I may, maybe I can put it side by side. But all I know is that I, I must not have double checked the height. That is so on me. All right, so this is what it originally looked like anyway, and if that's what I have to go with, that is okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. So see what I mean? Okay, well, I guess the word projects will just go, um, it'll go on something else because I'm not going to be able to use that. I am actually going to grab a piece of washi, and I'm going to line up the crafting and the in progress so that it becomes one big thing all over again and then I can just use my transfer tape. Okay, so my idea, while it was a good one, it is not going to work because I did not double check the height, but that's okay. So I'm just going to put down some transfer tape, burnish the front really well and the back, and then okay, going to remove the carrier sheet and now we're going to, I wish this folded a different way, but it doesn't. So let me get this on there and then I will show you on the camera. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. And it was pretty easy just to kind of tuck the bottom of the loading bar down in this little lip. So now this will be another um, little box that I have to put projects in or when I'm gathering pieces of projects together so that I can do a crafting session um, then I have another little staging box so this is actually pretty cute the next craft let me grab these okay so in the next craft I have these two little bags that I got at Michael's and they are just little zipper bags. I got them a little while back when they were on sale and so they had a bunch of patches and I did not buy any there. But I just wasn't real sure exactly what I was going to do with these bags but school is starting and you know i just don't know that i can have enough little bags to hold things so we've got lots of crafts today along those lines so what i'm going to do is i've got one for myself and one for my daughter and we're just going to use these little patches now i got these patches at walmart i've never tried those but i thought i would give them a, a little go and they say that they are permanent iron-on. And the directions say, um, well, it says to be or find a trusted adult. <laughs> oh my goodness. That, it literally says either be or find a trusted adult. <laughs> that is the most hilarious thing that I have, that I have seen in a while. <laughs> okay. So we're going to set the Easy Press Mini to medium. Um, if you have an iron, you want medium to medium high heat with no steam. And then it has a little backing. We're going to remove the backing and we're going to adhere it to 
the surface, we're going to place a cotton cloth over the actual chenille so that we prevent um, those things from melting. And we're going to use even pressure in 10 to 27, 10 to 20 second increments um, until the patch is completely adhered. Allow to cool completely and enjoy. Okay, that that's hilarious. I I'm trying to decide if somebody was being <laughs> was being funny or if they were being serious because that is something that I would say in my high school classroom. All right, I'm just gonna put this little towel in here and um, so we're gonna be putting this little towel. Let me fold it better. This is just so we've got some resistance. And then we're going to put the little C right down here. And I probably need to make sure I know where the, where the bottom is. I don't want the C to be ironed onto the very bottom. That would not be good. That would be like my last craft. So this is going to go here. All right. So that means two things. Um, try and get this little liner up. Okay. Pull that up. And then I am, I am going to use this little Teflon sheet that I have. This is literally a Teflon sheet. It's called Copper Liner. I got it at Dollar Tree and it heats up to like 500 and, or it, it's up to 500 in heat and I've just cut it down to a 12 by 12 size and then I had some smaller pieces left over and I just use it for, um, you know, helping to protect surfaces when I'm doing the iron-on stuff. Okay, so... Let's get this on here. And the back is sticky, just so you know. But the front is really soft, and then I really like that gold. So, okay, so I'm using actually pretty firm pressure. And I'm just going to go here for, oh, I don't know. 10, 20 seconds. And then here I'm just kind of going around and seeing. All right, I think that's good. I'm going to let this cool for a minute while I do the other one, and then I'll come back and check that one. Okay, so then we have one for myself. I kind of like the idea of patches. I've never really used patches. Um, maybe I'll have to do some hats. Or I could get bigger patches and do like a sweatshirt or something. Okay, so here is the bag. I stick the little towel in one more time. going to heat this up again just for a few seconds. Put in my nails. We went swimming in the mountains yesterday and um, I just did not have time to do much after that. So then we'll put the J. Oh, I got to take the liner off. Okay, now we'll put the J on. Very good. Okay. And another 10 to 20 seconds. Oh, I'm still laughing about that. Either be, be or find a trusted adult. I don't know, guys. I don't, I don't know if I'm a trusted adult right now. I am uh, having a hard time crafting this morning. I'll just blame it on the fact that I did not have all of my coffee yet. My cup is sitting here. Okay, 
So I'm going to let that sit for a minute. And then I'm just going to double check. I just want to make sure as I, that these aren't going to, I don't think, I think this laid down really nicely. I love the contrast of the gold with the white. Um, so cute. And I love, of course, the varsity font. There's a little snag right there. All right. That nice, cute, you know, all teen girls need lots of these little pouchy bag deals because, you know, you've got makeup, you've got supplies, you've got curly things. Got snacks, just all kinds of stuff. So, okay, I think this one is good to go too. This is craft number two. Very nice. These are exciting. I'm glad I found these little pad patches. All right, so we're going to move on. Number three is one, it's actually for my classroom. So, I I do provide pencils when students don't have pencils, but I try to convince them to turn them back in at the end of class so that, hey, here's the pencil, make sure you turn it in at the end of class so I can have it here for you tomorrow. Those kids are really good about returning a pencil, um, but then, you know, we've got a few that just, you know, they forget, they get busy. They're ready to rush out of math class and move on with their day. So anyway, I found a an SVG and it says Math Vibes and it's like an apple and it's really just lines. Wow, that's not auto-focusing. But um, I just added my name underneath and then I changed the color scheme. So I just went into each of the layers. This was three layers. So I just changed the colors here. And then my name happens to be six letters. So I did the same three colors and I just repeated it. Then what I did is I turned the image into a sticker and I had a, like an offset, a really thin offset. And then I, when I went to my make screen, I just did 24 instead of a one up there in that top left corner. I did 24 and I hit apply so that it would duplicate this 24 times. So now I have a little sticker to put on the pencil. And the goal is to just, the goal is hopefully that I would get this back and at the end of class, because who really wants a pencil with their math teacher's name on it? <laughs> But I wanted to show you this because I thought that this, I mean, you could do like a basketball with your child's name. You could, you could do a flower, like whatever they're into. And you could add their name either underneath or on top. So instead of where it says math vibes, you could have, you know, their name. But this is just sticker paper. Now you could, I'm using regular sticker paper. You could use the waterproof sticker paper. So it does come with like a laminated sheet that you put on over top before you go to the cut part of the project. But basically this is just in a sticker. So I'm going to link a video that I did recently on stickers. And I actually am making another one because I made some cute holiday stickers for cards, but um, in case you're interested in doing something like this for your own student that you have at home. And so I'm going to go ahead and just get all these on here and then we will move on to the next project. Okay, so I have all of these done. They look so good. And, you know, again, if a, if a student wants to keep a pencil, great. They take the sticker off and keep it. I'm okay with that. 
but I'm kind of hoping that this will just maybe um, spur their mind to turn these back in so I can just you know I can I don't have to go through pencils so quickly I'm hoping that we can make them last a little longer throughout the year but something that I was thinking of is you know I will probably make some specifically that have a, like happy birthday and have a little topper and but I'll use instead of um, the happy with the PY, I'll use pie as PI. I know, such a math teacher thing to do, but um, you know, give the kids some candy and a pencil for their birthday because guys, they're high schoolers, but they still love, they love stickers. They love to be loved on. They, they love candy and stickers and pencils. And I just think it is the cutest thing ever. So um, just another idea for you to just kind of jazz up some plain old um, school supplies. So this is done and we're gonna be moving on. My next craft of the day is the um, little sandwich container that um, I showed from the Target haul. And this is, you know, it's a little plain, it's okay, but it just needs a little something. So I'm just going to put a little hibiscus flower on the front. My daughter absolutely loves hibiscus. And so I just clean that off with rubbing alcohol. And I have a tiny little C to go in the corner. So this design, um, and I put this on a pair of shorts for her too. Actually, I have a shirt that I made for myself with this design. And then I added this to a pair of shorts for her. This is just a really nice floral design. You know, even if you're not into what we consider a quintessential Hawaiian flower. But um, it's fairly easy to weed. And... It just, you know, the little petals and the little leaves, everything just comes off really nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and get this weeded and then we will put this on the front. this is weeded out and you can see I mean this was a pretty simple weeding process here and then the C and I have to laugh if you are someone who's been around um, you know cricket for a while then this picture if you know you know right like look how close Wow I'm batting a thousand on my sizing today huh but yeah, it came out okay, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and keep it. I'm not going to redo it, but um, definitely kind of funny. That there again, I, apparently I'm not a trusted adult today because, <laughs> oh, definitely not doing it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this down. There's like a, there we go. And that way I've kind of got a little bit of a surface there. We're going to put the flower on. And then I think I'm going to put the little, I'm going to put the little C in the corner, just like that. Okay. So the, the good part is we can use this transfer tape. And I think I'm going to put the C down first, simply because the flower can kind of float around. Okay. 
There we go. And then I'm just going to put this in the corner because it just this curve right here. Oh, sorry, I'm off camera. This curve right here just pairs really nicely with that C. I'm just going to lay that down. And actually, I think I'm going to put my hand under there. So, um, it's more like a little membrane than it is anything else. So I've got to get some pressure, get it burnished down on there. I guess I could have just put it on there like a sticker. Yeah, I think better as a sticker. There we go. That's much better. Definitely, I just, I guess I don't have enough pressure in there to get the vinyl to stick down. Hopefully I can do better with this hibiscus over here. So I would really like that to work. The hibiscus is definitely not something that I can do as a sticker. All right, let's, let's give it a go. Oh, something too I could do, turn it over and burnish it that way. Noticing is that this this is probably more than anything silicone and it does not like vinyl so I'm gonna outsmart the whole container and I'm gonna put it down here on the back and that is gonna be a much 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 smarter way of customizing this I should have thought about that to begin with, but because it's not sticking to the silicone side, it will it will work nicely on this side. And I absolutely will be able to just put that down like a sticker like that's perfect that's normal right it just laid right down like it meant to be there this one okay so we can still give her her beautiful hibiscus um let's see where do we want Sorry, my hat is causing a shadow. Okay, so I think we'll just put it like right here. Gently lay it down. Okay, so note to self, vinyl doesn't like that material, whatever that is. And I don't want to, you know, I just don't know. I don't know what it is. Because I have a bag that I'm doing today, and it works fine on it. I just don't know. All right, well, plan, okay, so this is the second time I've had to do a plan B, but doesn't that look really pretty? That looks great. It actually worked out really good. And then this side will just have to be plain Jane, and that will be okay. And so this is just that sandwich container from Target, the dollar spot, so it's $3. But that's so pretty and now, you know, customized for her. So I have these next two and then these two in particular are, um, these belong to me in particular. Now these are, I'm not sure what they are. I think these are like a, like a plastic silicone kind of thing, but 
these take vinyl very well. I just took the vinyl off of these this morning that was on there because I am repurposing these. Um, when I first started out, I only had a couple of scraps here and there. And well, you know, now I have a bunch of scraps. So um, my scrap collection is definitely bigger and I needed something a little bit more. So I'm repurposing these little bags and one is gonna say stuff. Uh, and then one is gonna say more stuff because I have just some random things here and there in my craft space that they need to be corralled, they need a home, but you know, they don't necessarily need their own container. They can just kind of be together. And I don't really have, you know, drawers for that. Um, so I thought that I would just use up more scrap vinyl. And I really like this um, pattern vinyl here. Let's see. But I don't get to use it very often because I don't find that I have, you know, a, a, a good project for it. So I'm just going to piece a transfer tape over a transfer tape to make one big cohesive transfer tape piece and burnish this down. So anyway, I, I am repurposing my bags and I'm just labeling it stuff and that way I can just throw the items in the bags and I don't have to be ultra specific. I have a tiny little junk drawer in my kitchen and I actually keep it pretty clean for the first time in my life. My junk drawer stays pretty clean and organized which is shocking but here in my craft space you know, I have to be really careful about my real estate and what I keep where. All right, so here is the word stuff, and that is going to go right here. And I better clean this off because I've been handling it all morning. What, um, tell me down in the comments, what are some of your favorite uh, suggestions for organizing your craft space or your craft supplies. Maybe you're like me and you have a little to no craft space and that is, that's okay. All right. That's kind of cool. I can see right through there. So maybe I can just, is it me? I think it's my eyes. I am always curious to know how people organize their things in their craft space. And I find that even though I have, you know, some systems in place, sometimes your systems have to evolve or change as time goes on. Okay, there's one. There's two. Okay, so here is the word stuff. That's actually really cute. I like that pattern vinyl. When I look at the big sheet, I'm like, well, I don't know about that. But then when I put it on something, I like it. So there's that. Okay, we've got this and then one more little quick craft. And I really like this pattern vinyl also. I don't get to use this one too often, but I like it. And this one just says more stuff. Stuff and more stuff. And I also want to get these scraps out because, you know, the longer vinyl sits, 
the more it, I think it's difficult to work with, the longer it sits and does, you know, a whole lot of nothing. All right, so here is more stuff. Now, this one I think is going to be, I either need to put it diagonal or I think, no, it'll work. It'll, it'll be fine. Okay, so now that I am going to go like this, and I think this will be the last time that I use this particular piece of transfer tape. We'll get this on there. I love it when I've got a bunch of different little things going on and then I can just, whether it's school or camp or organizing or whatever, it's like, oh, let's just make some quick little crafts kind of spruce things up. I mean, you know, makes life beautiful when you add your little personal flair to it. And then, yeah, this is stuff. This transfer tape piece is finally finished, I'm pretty sure, because nothing's wanting to really stick to it. Pop quiz. I can't remember the questions I've asked you today other than what kind of systems do you have to organize in your craft space? That was one. And I honestly can't remember. Don't forget to tell me your favorite way to organize things in your craft space or organize using your craft materials like I'm doing today. I think that is good. Oh, now I have my two bags. I have stuff and more stuff. The random things in the craft space now have a home. So this is a good deal. Oh, and these are just these, you know, in the grocery store, like on the little tabs, when you go down the aisle and they're little tabs and they have things they want you to buy and spend money on. So these are just those little reusable um, snack bags, sandwich bags. And I tend to take like an actual container. You know, I, I actually like meal prep and take my food. So when I go to school, so I don't need a lot of bags, and so these are great in the craft space, or in the car, or, you know, wherever. Okay, so this is ready to go, and then I have one final craft. Now this is an impromptu craft. Um, this is a little frame. Um, I was at the Dollar Tree, my husband asked me to pick up an 8 by 10 so obviously I did and I get home and then he tells me oh wrong size so no problem what um, I just decided to do is hold on to it until I found a purpose for it and so you know my daughter is going into seventh grade and she does humor me on the first day of school and she lets me take her picture and all of that. So instead of having one of those um, things that say, you know, my name is, my teacher, all of that, I just have this. Now I made this in Design Space. I printed it out, um, you know, just on, actually on copy paper. And so I literally am just going to... Um, Trim it down here in just a moment. I'm just going to use this, and she will humor me for the five minutes that morning. Okay. So it'll go like this in the frame. Let's see. Get this. 
kind of centered in there. I think that looks pretty centered. All right, so then I'm just going to grab my little, my tiny paper trimmer here. And I'm just going to trim off. this down to where it will fit in the frame. That is the goal. Oh yeah, that'll totally fit. I'm going to put this back in there. Now that I've handled that all over again, I'm going to clean the inside and then I can clean the outside later. Okay. And then and just see if it looks centered, centered enough. Okay. We are going to go with that because it's one five minute picture. And then this will probably get repurposed for something else. But anyway, you can make something in Design Space, print it out, and then she can hold this in front and smile real pretty for the first day of seventh grade. So, really cute. And the, the uh, first day of seventh grade, I was a, that was a text. And I just, so I added that. This is the image and design space. I added this and then I went through, I ungrouped all of the words so that the letters would be individual and then I colored each letter individually um, based on these colors here and then I regrouped everything so that I could get it to um, print out nicely. Okay, so let's take a look at everything we've done today. Okay, I would say today's little quick impromptu crafting session was a success. Um, we came up with a um, another craft, like a almost like a little staging box for craft uh, elements. You know, pictures, vinyl, etc. Items that you're wanting to um, put vinyl on or embellish, and these were again from the Dollar Tree. So it's just one of those folding little crates. And I think they come in like two sizes. And I don't know if this is the big one or the small this one. This will be great for housing the things either as I'm getting them ready for the craft session or when I'm done crafting, I can put them in there and just set them off to the side so that they're all contained. Then we had these and these were a major success. Notch. Oh, the other one. I actually already gave it. I was like, where did the other one go? I already gave it to her. She's packing for camp. So um, just these little bags that I got at Michael's. These little patches that I picked up at Walmart. These actually worked really good. And they were less than a dollar. They were like 97 cents, by the way. Just in case you're wanting to know. I thought I would give them a try and see if I even liked the idea of doing patches. I do, I think they're fun. So I could see myself doing more projects with patches. So nice little bag for all kinds of things. Speaking of bags, these, I just repurposed these stuff and more stuff, nice little bags to contain all of the extra things that, you know, that you have laying around that you really need, but they're random and they, you just kind of need a space for them. Then we had the pencils. And these are, you could go, you know, six ways to Sunday with this particular project. These are specifically going to sit on my desk like this in this little holder here. And I can loan them out to students who need a pencil for the day. 
and hopefully the little math vibes with my name, they'll make their way back to me, hopefully. And if not, it's okay. It's just a pencil. Um, so there's that. You could use these, this idea for um, your own children. You could do birthday stuff. You could put them on pens and highlighters. Like this is just a really neat idea. And I think I have this sized, uh, the width, by the way, um, when you do this, I chose a size of like 0.65 for the width. The height, I'm not, you know, you're not so much worried about the height. You got all that real estate there, but the width was 0.65 is what I used. And then I just did the print and cut. So there's those. Then um, I went ahead and personalized her little sandwich uh, container for the year. And just wanted to give her her little hibiscus that she is into. And then, of course, mom had to monogram it. So we both got a little bit of what we wanted. And then finally, um, I know that I'm going to get the side eye. But this little thing here for her to hold on to and smile real pretty on the first day of seventh grade um, for me. And that will be more for me than it is for her. I hope that you found this video was um, informative, inspiring in some way to get you um, up and crafting today and finding the things in your space that need to get done and off your list as well. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your crafty friends. Both of those things absolutely help the channel to grow and we are definitely growing exponentially. So tell me what your favorite craft organization thing is or how you like to use your crafting to organize around your craft space or your home and really and truly it has been a pleasure to craft with you this morning so until I see you again in the next video as always happy crafting thank you all so much for watching today I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table if you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.